Hello and welcome to another episode of the Nothing Ventured Primer. Today, I'm really excited to have with me in the studio, Daniel Glazer. Daniel leads the US Expansion Group and the London office at the Silicon Valley headquartered law firm, Wilson Sonsini. Dan and his team support technology-driven UK, EU companies through their US life cycle, US launch, scale, VC financing, and IPO or M&A exit. Daniel, great to have you here with me in the studio. Great to be here. Thanks a lot for having me. No, uh, really looking forward to this conversation. Definitely something that's very close to my kind of mind as a CFO working with various startups. So we're going to start this off with a bunch of quick fire. Um, so what was your first job? So my first job was working at Burger King. Excellent. For three summers. And then I was lured away across the street to McDonald's for 25 cents more an hour. So. I, I I went through Macca's. I think probably one of the best training grounds I've ever had in terms of uh, in terms of learning customer service, working with processes. It's a great great place. Uh, what did you do before getting into venture law? So when I when I started uh, in in law generally, I mean I was kind of in this space. I mean I you know I was. I, was, I started working in the space back in the, the late 1900s, right, uh, <laughs> during the, uh, the, the dot-com bust, uh, you know, working with some of the original, the, uh, the OGs of the, the, the New York tech ecosystem, like Cosmo.com, back when, uh, uh, you know, 30-minute delivery was a thing. Uh, but, you know, been working in the space for a long, long, long time. You know, in, in the old days, probably worked with, with a lot of uh, larger UK companies, too. Probably the best known one is did a lot of work for Cadbury Schweppes over, over the years. That was always a favorite. Um, but I've uh, been working with uh, UK and European startups for years and years now. Amazing. And w what was it that kind of triggered you to move into that field? Uh, two things. Uh, love of technology mm -hmm. and love of entrepreneurialism. Right. I mean, I've just got all the respect in the world for people who are building businesses and changing the world. And what would you be doing if you weren't a lawyer? Uh, probably something in the government. Uh, <laughs> I really do like that sort of tra transatlantic international commerce thing. Uh, probably, you know, U.S. Commercial Service, uh, you know, U.K. Department of Business and Trade, something connecting countries and geographies in, in commerce. It's kind of a thing. Yeah, you could you could have been out there with Rishi talking to Joe about uh, how UK and AI is going to be the, the, or the UK is going to be the champion of AI in the future, right? That 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 could have been you. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about Wilson Sonsini for a second. So how large is the practice? What kind of businesses did you work with? What stages, what sectors, what geographies, and, and what are your kind of primary services, I guess? Sure, sure thing. So the firm as a whole is about 1,200 lawyers Silicon Valley headquartered, uh, 14 offices around the U.S. And the way that we sort of think about it is it's, a, it's kind of horizontally narrow and vertically broad, right? Horizontally narrow in that there's a real focus, laser focus on technology and life sciences companies, mm -hmm. but vertically broad, which is that sort of for those companies, we do kind of everything across the board, right? Mm -hmm. Corporate, commercial, IP, data privacy, regulatory, employment, share options, et cetera. Um, so I, I head up our, our London office, and our London team is a group of about uh, nearly 40 U.S. and sort of dual qualified U.K. U.S. corporate tech lawyers. And the focus, is, as you mentioned before, really is working with U.K. and European high growth companies as they're accessing the U.S. commercial markets, accessing the U.S. private and public capital markets. Got it. And if you were to talk about three kind of businesses that you or Wilson Sonsini, for that matter, have supported, and I, I, I've got a couple at the back of my mind for sure, that you're really proud of, what, what would they be? So maybe, maybe the first one will, will, will be kind of one, one of the firm's classic stories is that you know, the firm uh, incorporated Google back mm. in, in 98, um, which is you know, kind of a neat, neat thing, Pretty right? Cool. And then, and then, then worked on the, the IPO uh, about, about, about six years later and you know, still, you know, still close to, to, to the company today. So that's, that's really exciting. Um, you know, I think another one was uh, something for me personally, and the firm obviously as well, but th this one's maybe closer to me, is um, uh, 2017 when, uh, when we worked with in Improbable mm. on, on the, the, big, uh, the big, big, big software bank raise. That was, in my mind, one of the deals that really put London on the map. I can, I can tell you that after that deal, you know, a uh, you know, company like that and Improbable raising 500 million, uh, that got Silicon Valley to pay attention. Got it. Right? And, and as, as an American focused on that transatlantic quarter, it was really noticeable to me how um, 
you know, the, the U.S. tech e- ecosystem started to kind of sit up and take take notice. Yeah, so I guess post 2017, you saw a lot more U.S. VCs coming over the UK. Exactly, bo- both yeah. remotely and in terms yeah. of setting up offices post 717, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think probably the third one would, would be uh, our work with Included VC, mm. um, that we were one of the founding uh, partners, uh, f- founding outside partners for Included. And I remember when the original uh, team came to us and told us about the idea, and I just, I just loved it, right? Being able to work with um, you know, underrepresented communities and, and, and helping open doors to get into venture, super exciting. We're really proud of that. Yeah, so uh, one of these days I am going to get Nikita on the podcast. She seems quite uh, camera shy maybe, so I've, I've got to kind of convince her. Equally, I have applied several times, so if you can put a good word, uh, that would be great. Uh, but I, I keep getting told I'm, I'm, I'm the wrong profile. Uh, I, I will take that up with Nikita separately. But anyway, look, um, Daniel, great to have you here with me today. Uh, we're going to dig into a lot of this stuff in much more detail in the main podcast. Thank you so much for joining me.